here you can see the newest Israel grass that we have been putting in the soil that we got from our friend not very far away from here and of course it will take time before they really take roots but my problem is there has been animals in here buffaloes young buffaloes very young buffaloes walking around looking for food for themselves and when you look very closely you can see how they have been eating away all the good nappier grass that we have in this area even the newest one that I have been putting in the soil here you can see how it has been eaten from the top and this one too so in this way we have lost three more months of food for our cows because people around us they don't care enough about their own animals to have enough grass and growing things also here you can see how they have been eating everything down here we have had <coughs> sorry tall grass napier grass similar to this one but very tall nice looking grass one day yesterday when we were resting <coughs> sorry when we were taking a day of rest for the first time for a long 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 time then the buffaloes from other people quite far away came in here and you can see here eating all our nap here not just some of it but most of it so there is nothing left for us to give to our cows and there is nothing left for us to cut and to replant so we use some of the nap here you can see this one if it had been the full length we could have cut two or three new things to put in the soil and have more napier to grow up this is not napier well it is but they eat everything they destroyed everything and if you could see further down this grass field that we have here for our cow the buffaloes has been lying in the water making the soil more solid on the top so it becomes more difficult for us to plant new grasses because we need more kind of grasses here so my job right now is to put up these pillars and to Oy. this is so hard inside of me so hard to look at how and they did not even eat the grass between their fields and us and when you look out there in the distance that is where the young buffaloes came from and they came into our areas and those people they give, give the excuse well you don't have a fence anymore well they don't want to come and help us to make up a fence to stop their buffaloes from coming inside everybody now it's just a few people everybody more or less are walking into our areas looking for anything and everything they can eat and just taking it without 
even asking us, we're even talking with us, because this is Thai tradition from 100 years ago, where everything belongs to everybody. But today, the modern farmer is putting up fences around their area, so nobody can enter their area. So when we have had a fence, that means that nobody should be able to enter and come in. Even if we take it down, it should still be the same. Our neighbor up here, they put their buffaloes inside a lot of times. But now they don't do anymore because they're scared. So what I say is, people want a lot of cows and buffaloes and whatever animals it is that they can have. But they don't make the food available in their own fields for them. Or they think, we just get as many as we can and then they can walk around and eat from everywhere else. The Abador in our own village does not even have the food they need and they still put their buffaloes into other people's areas. The public area where people have been trying to grow grasses and bananas. The Abador's family has just been allowing their buffaloes to go inside and eat everything, even the bananas. So there's nothing left up there. It's just naked and bare again. And as I have been saying so many times, this year will be a terrible year up in Isan. And I really believe it. I believe there will not be enough food for the amount of animals people are having. Which is why they will walk around to other people's areas and take what does not belong to them. This is stealing. And they will continue to do that because they think they have the right to allow their animals to go and eat from anywhere and everywhere where they want to do. Because this is tradition in this country. So as I just mentioned, I have to put up the pillars again on our side, as I have wanted to do so many times. But because we have so many projects that are just as important as putting up the fence, like restoring the water areas. You can see here footprints of buffaloes walking into this area. This is not footprints from people. This is buffalo prints. And it's not even cow print. It is buffalo prints. I know that our cow like to walk in there. But this is not how we want to do. So we use a lot of money, we use a lot of energy, and we use, use a lot of time to build up this area so we can have an organic, ecological farm area for our animals and the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees that are growing in this area so we can get a harmony up in this place and which is why I'm so angry and so upset about it. I'm right now walking down to the area where I want to finish the barbed wire line because from here and all the way down we already have the barbed wire lying on the ground and we have the pillars ready to be put in but I just need to make the pillars to be in the right depth. At the same time I want to put in pillars here so that the buffaloes cannot use this as an entrance because this one is lower than the other things. I know you cannot see it, but over there, under the tree, you have an adult buffalo. 
and that is what they do they have the adults buffaloes out there tied with a rope on it whereas all the others they're just running around so and when you look down here I know it is not a water pond and it is not a lake but this is the area where I really want to have what is equal to a lake where we can have fish and different things growing to help the fish, fish to live and to survive in the water and it cost us a lot of money to do this so we don't want people to just run around and do whatever they want because they will destroy what we have built up and paid a lot of money to do and they I know they don't do it on purpose this water that you see here has come in by itself we have not been putting water into this area and yet there is a lot of water in it and we have been talking about whether it is the the soil under the fields that have pockets of water that are running into this area or whether it is from the other glung at the other side that we are filling up again and again and again so here I am being very angry about how people are not taking care of their animals that sometimes they run loose is not a big problem but they do this this is the second time that we have baby buffaloes coming into our area and eating all the the grass two months ago that neighbor over there had his buffaloes coming in and also making breaks on the water pipeline that we have down there but this time it is people from the other village that are connected to people in this village that came in to eat from our grass field over there so I'm wondering when we begin to make this long field into three separate or four for that matter vegetable organic gardening if the buffaloes would come and destroy it again they're not coming while it is growing up they're coming when it is at the best of what they should be so I'm a little bit nervous about building up garden here a vegetable area on this soil because we still hope that the sister will allow us to use those two three fields over here at the bottom of everything and she uses everything else in that way we should be able to grow things but I don't know but it hurts me inside the lackness that people in this country they are having about making food available for their own animals and of not worrying about that their animals make a walkabout when there are thieves in the area that are stealing animals they will wake up and they will do everything they can to keep their buffalo safe because it's a lot of money for them remember to subscribe to hit the thumb up hit the bell 
and leave a comment down below. When I came to the field today, I did not have any pillars here. Now we have, I have been able to put up 11 pillars in all. 11 pillars and 3 meters apart. That is 36 meters down. Because one of them I could not put up, I have to remove the roots first. So now we just need to put up the barbed wire and we are better equipped to stop the buffaloes from entering from that side. So that is a good thing.